fashion. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Today I'm here with Ganga Bamra, makeup artist. Hi Ganga, how are you? Hi, I'm good, great, thanks, how are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for being on the show. No worries, thanks for having me. So you've been practicing makeup artistry for some time, haven't you? Yeah, about seven years now. Seven years, and yeah. how did you get into the industry? Um, so it was quite by chance actually. I, I wasn't really into makeup when I was younger, I was quite a bit of a tomboy, and I just had a natural flair for it apparently. <laughs> um, and then I went off and did a course, it was an eight week course, covered sort of special effects, um, sort of the non-typical route of most sort of Asian makeup artists. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of fell into it naturally, just started doing photo shoots, started testing, then realised I was actually more creative than I thought it was. And so. never look back. Yeah, never look back. <laughs> now you specialise in airbrushing makeup, don't That's you? That's correct. And yeah. I love airbrushing makeup. Yeah. I absolutely love yeah. it. Talk to, for those who don't know what airbrushing makeup is, tell them a little bit uh, about so it. So airbrush makeup, it's basically a customised foundation. It's done with little drops of foundation, so you're not piling loads of makeup onto the face. Mm -hmm. uh, so a client can also choose how much coverage they want. They can choose what colour they want to be. It's sprayed on in really, really fine layers. So you kind of almost, it just feels like air being blown onto the skin. Yeah. Uh, so if clients who don't like having a lot of foundation on, um, they won't feel like they're caked with a lot of makeup. And yeah. then a client, you basically can build up how much coverage you want yeah. uh, with fine layers. Um, so a client can choose whether they want to go a bit heavier, medium coverage, or very natural coverage. And I absolutely love airbrush makeup. Yeah. I have actually like trained in it as well myself. Yeah. And I absolutely do advocate it. Yeah, you brilliant. also can highlight with it, you can blush contour, with it, you yeah. can contour with it. It's amazing for what it is. I mean, for people who have like quite sensitive skin as well, it's great because it doesn't, you're not getting loads of makeup and like pushing it into the pores yeah. as well. So someone who suffers with say acne or sensitive skin or psoriasis, eczema, you don't need to worry about the makeup actually affecting your skin. Yeah. Um, it can also be used on, I mean I specialise in it, so I use it for body coverage, so some people who have like quite strapless dresses or low backs, mm -hmm. I'll actually airbrush the backs and get rid of the marks as well. All the blemishes um, yeah, and scars. Yeah, and stretch marks I can airbrush out, uh, tattoo coverage as well, which is a really oh, big thing. Oh, that must be godsend. Yeah, and it's all wa like waterproof and smudge proof once it's set, so you know, as a bride, if you're crying or you know, you've got people hugging you, you don't need to worry about it coming off as mm -hmm. well. So that's the brilliance of it. Yeah, you were telling me a story about a girl that's actually got loads of tattoos down her yeah, arm. Yeah, um, she's actually got like a full sleeve of tattoos and half her back as well. And she's actually booked me for next year. And the main thing she was concerned about wasn't even a face makeup, it was just getting her tattoos covered. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a trial of it and she said that that night she went home, she had a bath, she sort of soaked in, in bubble bath and everything. And she goes, it was still on. like after that and uh, it really is that waterproof that well. really is amazing yeah. <laughs> now for viewers at home you're probably quite confused how this airbrushing actually works yeah do you want to give us a demonstration uh yeah sure let's go ahead and, and go for it fantastic
Okay, so I'm just gonna start the foundation now, but I'm gonna be spraying it on with a little airbrush gun so it builds up in nice fine layers. So with the airbrush, it's a foundation that's customized to match to the skin tone. You can opt to go slightly lighter or slightly darker depending on your preference. The idea is it's built up in really, really fine layers. So as a client, you can choose whether you want to have a few layers, build it up to how much coverage you prefer. The idea is you get a lot more of a natural finish rather than caked on foundation with liquid or cream. I'm going to start the second layer now just to get a little bit more coverage. The so layers are really thin and really fine, so you almost can't tell that the foundation is actually going on. Okay, so guys, we're here with Kaz now. Hi Kaz, how are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm very well. So you got your makeup done by Ganga only three weeks ago. You got married three weeks ago, yeah. right? And you're a girl from Gravesend, I was am from Birmingham. From, yeah. So why exactly did you pick Ganga? I mean, I can see why you've actually picked her, but why did you personally pick her? Um, well, I knew her from friends, and I knew that she specialised in airbrush makeup. Mm -hmm. I saw her portfolio and I loved the fact that she was very different and versatile. Mm -hmm. And how did you find the airbrush makeup throughout oh, the day? It was amazing. First, when she put it on, I felt really relaxed and it was just like air was going into your skin. Mm -hmm. But throughout the day, it was just normal and natural, even through the tears. It lasted through the it tears, lasted, did it? and I cried quite a bit. <laughs> and how long did you have the makeup on for? Um, I had to travel all the way back to Gravesend, so I took it off about four o'clock in the morning. Wow. Yeah. And it stayed put? And yeah, and everyone complimented on how it looked. Did they? Yeah. Well, you do look absolutely beautiful, Gang. You did such an amazing you. job. <laughs> Talk us through what you did today. Um, so, Kaz didn't want anything too overdone, as you wanted to keep the skin quite natural looking, so that's why we went for a natural, flawless face. Um, with the eyes, she wanted a little bit of definition, nothing too dark, something mm -hmm. that would really open up the eyes, mm -hmm. uh, which is why we've gone for like a sort of soft, almost very slight champagne gold on the eye into a sort of chocolate brown at the end just to smoke it out. Um, she didn't want this a sort of traditional massive wing and massive eyelashes, so we just went for something a little bit more toned down. Uh, still looks really great in the pictures uh, mm -hmm. from what I've seen, yeah. um, but enough to sort of capture her, capture the sort of elegance of her eyes and stuff. Um, and then with the lips, you kind of want like a soft red on the lips. Um, again, nothing too overdone with the blusher, just a hint of contouring. Uh, and hopefully she, she was happy with everything that I did and what we achieved in the trial and, and on the day as well. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ganga, for being it's on the okay. show. Thank You've done an amazing job. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Today.